urinary tract infection is extremely common condition. It affects around 50% of women at least once in their lifetime. Urinary tract infection usually is caused by bacteria Escherichia coli. In 90% of cases, it is caused by Escherichia coli. So it's bacterial infection. And when we say urinary tract, we mean kidneys, ureter, bladder, and urethra. We mean these components. And urinary tract infection can be upper or lower. When we say upper urinary tract infection, we mean pyelonephritis, which means uh, inflammation of kidneys. Uh, and uh, usually there is uh, inflammation of ureter also. So it's uh, upper urinary tract infection. When there is involvement of kidney and ureter, it's upper urinary tract infection. When we say lower urinary tract infection, we mean cystitis and urethritis. So it means that inflammation is in the bladder and in the urethra, or only in the bladder. It's also possible and it is called cystitis. If we say which is common, common is lower urinary tract infection. It occurs around 90% of cases of urinary tract infection. So upper urinary tract infection is rare. It occurs only 10% of cases, but it's more severe because if it happens, it can seriously damage uh, and if it left untreated, it can damage kidney. That's why it's serious if there is upper urinary tract infection. But in case of lower urinary tract infection, the symptoms improve usually within several days or sometimes a week. Now let's say what is the most common symptoms of especially lower urinary tract infection. That's urge to urinate. That's first and most common symptom. Uh, a, person, a person wants to urinate and uh, for person it's too difficult to hold uh, so urge to urinate is important symptom burning sensation during urina uh, urination is also important symptom cloudy and odorous urine it's also important uh, pelvic pain and pain in pubic uh, bone area especially for women and hematuria hematuria means when there is blood in the urine uh, if we look this uh, urine test, we, what we can say? We can say that with these three, there is possible uh, that here is um, urinary tract infection. If you see this, the, it's cloudy. Uh, if you look at this, here can be um, hematuria or blood in the urine and it also can be cloudy. Uh, these two are more clear, so here is lower chance of urinary tract infection. Uh, that's how you can differentiate. Uh, of course, it needs more practice. Uh, cystitis is, as we said, it's lower urinary tract infection, and, where is, uh, and uh, here is inflammation of bladder. That's cystitis and cystitis also uh, called honeymoon cystitis sometimes because sexual activity is associated with cystitis why because sexual activity facilitates bacterial movement sexual activity itself does not cause any infection if uh, i i mean uh, does not cause cystitis and if person is not infected of course uh, any sexual transmitted disease uh, but sex can facilitate uh, movement of bacteria. That's the idea. That's why sex can be a risk factor for cystitis. Uh, also, women have shorter urethra. It's an important factor. It also uh, facilitates bacterial movement uh, into bladder and uh, infection. 
bacteria multiplication uh, in the um, uh, bladder and infection. That's why it's much more common among women. Now let's say about uh, risk factors. As we said, the risk factor can be sexual activity, menopause uh, for um, menopause age women, uh, urinary tract abnormalities is common, especially for uh, men, uh, especially when there is recurrent urinary tract infections, uh, urinary tract abnormalities should be suspected. Uh, suppressed immune system is another risk factor and poor personal hygiene. Uh, it means uh, if from anus to um, uh, to urethra, uh, if person uh, have poor personal hygiene, it's possible that bacteria uh, reach from anus to urethra, so uh, and it facilitates also infection. Uh, that's important. Uh, and diagnosis: how how we diagnose uh, cystitis. Uh, Nitrate, ni nitrates in the in the urine. Uh, nitrates in the urine means bacterial infection. Uh, leukocyte esterase. Uh, it means purea, and purea means white blood cells in the urine. You can see this is uh, white blood cells in the urine. Uh, so that's purea. It's also characteristic for uh, cystitis. And uh, gold standard of diagnosis is urine culture. Uh, and now what's treatment? Uh, first line treatment is antibiotics, of course. Uh, of course, best treatment is based on urine uh, culture. Uh, should be defined uh, specific bacteria and uh, according to this bacteria, uh, sensitive antibiotic. But uh, generally and empirically, First line treatment is nitrofurantin, um, trimetoprim sulpamethoxazole, and phosphomycin. Uh, they are first line treatment, and uh, if they are not effective, usually second line treatment is fluoroquinolones and broad spectrum antibiotics. That's urinary tract infections. So, if there is more serious uh, symptoms such as flame pain, um, uh, pain just uh, uh, pain upper abdominal uh, part uh, and uh, just uh, near uh, just near and below rib cage um, and fever these two symptoms are very important flank pain and fever it can be upper urinary tract infection especially if pain increases during movement um, during coughing or if you if if you hit this area, uh, it can exacerbate pain. So uh, it can be upper urinary tract infection or pyelonephritis. Uh, so we should differentiate upper uh, urinary tract infection and lower urinary tract infection. Upper urinary urinary tract infection is much more serious condition. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my video, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.